Hello, welcome to another edition of Sean's Two Cents in the Lovely Hot Tip. I'm here to review WWE Payback, which just ended. We hope the show with Sheamus versus Ziggler in a good backboard match. Ziggler got busted open with a big headbutt. It went pretty good. It ended pretty quickly after that. Good match. Some good near falls. Not my favorite Sheamus Ziggler match. But Sheamus gets one with the broken. I think we could have gone a little longer. We don't know if the blood had anything to do with them ending it a little bit early, but good match. Then we had the match I was looking forward to the most. We had the New Day, New Day Rocks versus Cesaro and Kid. The chemistry these two have is amazing. There were a lot of good spots. It was a very good highlight reel match. Plus, the chemistry was fantastic. Good match. Good back and forth. The ending was kind of a, kind of a shitty ending. A little twin magic. So, New Day gets the win and retains. And then we had a Wyatt and Ryback in a surprisingly good match. It was very physical. Wyatt with the Sinton on the outside of Ryback, where I think he injured his ribs, was awesome. Ryback with the Frog Slips off top rope. These guys pulled out some good big stops. Put all the stops in this match, and they weren't really good. It turned what I thought would be a bad match into a pretty good match. Wyatt gets the win, and a good match. Good, attempt, good, good encounter. Then we had Cena and Rusev, and this is a very boring guy quick match. Didn't really care. That's not this is some good street fight stuff, but overall, Cena wins with when uh, uh, Lana quits for Rusev, and it was all right. Divas match, snooze fest. We want to get Divas match, lost to NXT Divas. Then we had Neville versus Barrett in a pretty disappointing match. I was really looking forward to this match. Neville did his stuff, looked impressive. Barrett walked out, counted victory. Barrett tries to beat down Neville afterwards. Neville gets the upper hand, hits the red arrow, so... That was good. Hopefully Neville wins the Elimination Chamber. The IC title Elimination Chamber. I think Neville will be your next IC champ. Hopefully he wins the IC title with Elimination Chamber. Then we had our four-way World Heavyweight title main event for WWE title. We had Seth Rollins defending against Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns, and Randy Orton. This one went great. Some good spots. The pacing was good. Storytelling was great. It was very fun. The shield spot within the true powerbomb, Randy Orton, was awesome. Then Rollins thinking they're all friends. And then beating up him. Good stuff. Horton beating Dead and Rawls getting the win with the pedigree. That was awesome. This match was great. Definitely a, I think four star, definitely a great match. Not as good as a short short match, but definitely one of the top pay per view matches that he's had all year. So then they go from the top of the match. The best matches on pay per view for WWE. So overall, a very enjoyable pay per view. Definitely with the main event. And then Ryback and Wyatt. And the New Day. Versus Sorrow and Kid, definitely some good matches there. The tag team division for the WWE is on fire. I can't wait for the tag team elimination share match. That's gonna be awesome. So WWE is looking up, looking uh, looking good. Can't wait for the elimination share in two weeks, May 31st on WWE Network. So as always, follow me on the Twitter at the Sean She Sense. Make sure to like and subscribe. Share the video. Buy a T-shirt. Forces.com. Forward slash the Sean Two Cents. Have a great day.